Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. We are super excited to announce our brand new gameplay series. This is High Powered EDH. We wanted to showcase commanders and strategies that don't always fit at a CDH table. There are so many cool high powered decks out there that don't see enough play. We want to give those decks a real chance to shine and that's what this series is all about. If you want to see more content, be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Also consider supporting us on Patreon. We have tiers for all budgets and you get all kinds of great perks in return. You can also check out our merchandise store for awesome accessories including sleeves, playmats, dice, coins and tokens. Any support goes a long way. Now. Let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Fonzie potting Krenko, Mob Boss. We have all seen Krenko at the table and we all know what it does. This deck dials it up to 11 by trying to generate as many goblins as fast as possible. It then tries to burn out the table with Perforos or swing with a massive army of goblins. Fonzie's opening hand contains a Mox Diamond, Combat Celebrant, War Room, Fork, and Three Mountains. Next, we have Drake, Pounding Talrand, Sky Summoner. We all know that Talrand is best as a control deck, but people tend to frown on control decks at casual tables. This deck seeks to play table police and turns that into flying creatures to close out the game. And let's face it, the fact that the player Drake is making Drakes through Talrand is pretty awesome flavor win. Drake's opening hand contains a Brainstorm, Misdirection, Mana Drain, Fierce Guardianship, Polluted Delta, and Two Islands. After that we have Cal, Pouting Yidris, Maelstrom Wielder with Karuga as the companion. This is a Storm deck, but Karuga limits the mana value of the deck to 3. This deck seeks to overcome its high average mana value by putting together a manual storm that kills the table through Aetherflux Reservoir or large amounts of combat damage. Cal's opening hand contains a Rift Sower, Throws of Chaos, Swamp, Breeding Pool, Big Score, Prosper Tonebound, and a Mind's Desire. Finally we have Alex, Pouting Intet the Dreamer. This is a mid-range deck that gets free value off of its commander and overwhelms opponents with advantage. Alex's opening hand contains a Fine Horn Elves, Dissipation Field, Winds of Rebuke, Propaganda, Breeding Pool, Forbidden Orchard, and his London Mulligan is a Genesis Wave. Without further ado, let's kick off this hilarious historic high-powered hoopla. Fonzie won the Vacuum Challenge and gets to start us off. Fonzie draws a card for turn and plays a Mountain. He casts a Mox Diamond discarding a Mountain. He casts Goblin Engineer. It enters and he fetches up a Pyre of Heroes into his graveyard. Fonzie passes. Drake draws, plays an island, and passes. Cal draws and plays a breeding pool into play untapped, paying two life. He suspends Rift Sower with two time counters on it. Cal ends the turn. Alex draws and also plays a breeding pool into play untapped, paying two life. He decides to copy Cal again and suspends Search for Tomorrow with two time counters on it. Alex ships the turn. Fonzie draws and plays a War Room. He casts Combat Celebrant. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Goblin Engineer. Cal takes it and Fonzie passes. At the end of Fonzie's turn, Drake casts Brainstorm, drawing three and putting two back on top. Drake draws, plays an island, and passes. During his upkeep, Cal removes a time counter from Rift Sower. He draws, plays a swamp, and ends his turn. During his upkeep, Alex removes a time counter from Search from Tomorrow. He draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He casts the Finehorn Elves and ends his turn. Fonzie draws and plays a mountain. He casts his commander, Krinko, Mob Boss. In response, Drake casts Mana Drain, countering Krinko. Fonzie moves to combat and attacks Cal with everything. Cal takes it all and Fonzie ships the turn to Drake. Drake draws and in his first main phase he has four colorless through Mana Drain. He casts his commander, Talrin, Sky Summoner. He plays an island for turn. He casts Ponder. Talrin triggers and Drake creates a Drake. He then looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles and draws. He casts the Thought Vessel and passes to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal removes the final time counter from Rift Sower and casts it. He draws and casts Skyclave Relic. Cal passes. During his upkeep, Alex removes the final time counter from Search for Tomorrow and casts it. He fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Dissipation Field. Alex ends his turn. Fonzie draws and plays a Mountain. He casts Thornbite Staff. He activates Goblin Engineer, sacrificing Thornbite Staff and returning Pyre of Heroes to the battlefield. He activates Pyre of Heroes, sacrificing Goblin Engineer, and fetches up a Goblin Matron onto the battlefield. Matron enters, and Fonzie fetches up a Kiki Jiggy Mirror Breaker into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Combat Celebrant. Before blocks, Alex taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Cal a Spirit. Cal then blocks with his Spirit. Unfortunately for Fonzie, Combat Celebrant dies. With his plans messed up, Fonzie gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He casts Mystic Remora. He casts Counterbalance. He moves to combat and attacks Fonzie with Talrend and his Drake. Fonzie takes it and Drake passes to Cal. Cal draws and casts Thran Dynamo. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Cal activates Karuga, putting it into his hand. Cal gives the turn to Alex. 
Alex draws and casts Propaganda. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Counterbalance triggers and Drake reveals a delay. Propaganda resolves and Alex ends his turn. Fonzie draws and starts off by casting Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker. He activates Kiki, targeting Goblin Matron. In response, Alex taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Kala Spirit to cast Winds of Rebuke. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Matron bounces and everyone mills too. All through, Fonzie passes. At the end of Fonzie's turn, Drake cracks his Polluted Delta, pays a life, and fetches up a Mystic Sanctuary onto the battlefield untapped. It enters and Drake puts Brainstorm onto the top of his library. The turn moves to Drake. During his upkeep, Drake pays to keep his Remora. He draws and casts a Brainstorm. Tolerant triggers and Drake creates a Drake. He then draws three and puts two back on top. He plays a Prismatic Vista for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Isochron Scepter. It enters and Drake imprints Delay. This is pretty horrible for the table as Drake moves to combat. He attacks Fonzie with Tolerant and a Drake. Fonzie takes it and Drake passes to Cal. Cal draws and casts a Chromatic Lantern. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Drake reveals a Fierce Guardianship, countering Lantern. Then Drake draws off of Remora. Cal casts Big Score and Drake draws again. It resolves and Cal draws two and creates two treasures. Cal passes to Alex. Alex draws and casts Sylvan Library. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Alex taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Cal a Spirit to cast Runic Armorsaur. In response, Drake activates Isochron Scepter, casting Delay. Talrin triggers and creates a Drake. Then Armorsaur is countered and exiled with three time counters on it. Alex ships the turn to Fonzie. Fonzie draws and plays a Mountain. He recasts his Commander, Krenko, Mob Boss. Fonzie passes. During his upkeep, Drake loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. Also in his upkeep, he pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays an Island. He moves to combat and attacks Fonzie with three Drakes. Fonzie takes it and Drake ships the turn. Cal draws and casts his Commander, Yidris, Maelstrom Wielder. Counterbalance triggers and Drake reveals an Arcane Laboratory. Next, Cal casts Throws of Chaos. Remora triggers and Drake draws. Cascade triggers and Cal reveals until he hits Kadama's Reach, casting it. Remora triggers and Drake draws again. Counterbalance triggers and Drake reveals a Spellseeker, countering Kadama's Reach. Unfortunately stopped, Cal passes to Alex. During his upkeep, Alex removes a time counter from Runic Armasaur. During the draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He casts Allosaurus Shepherd and Drake sighs. It resolves and Alex passes. At the end of Alex's turn, Drake channels Ottawara Soaring City, bouncing Krinko back to Fonzie's hand. The turn moves to Fonzie. Fonzie draws and recasts his commander, Krinko. In response, Drake activates Isochron Scepter, casting Delay. Talrin triggers and, in response, Fonzie casts Fork, targeting Delay. Counterbalance and Remora trigger. Drake draws through Remora and reveals Snap through Counterbalance, countering Fork. Then Drake creates another Drake, then Delay counters and exiles Krinko with three time counters on it. Unfortunately thwarted by Drake's oppression, Fonzie passes the turn. During his upkeep, Drake pays to keep his Remora. He also loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Fonzie with four Drakes. Fonzie takes it, and in his second main phase, Drake plays a Seagate Reborn into play untapped, paying three life. He casts a Spellseeker. It enters, and Drake fetches up a Mystical Tutor into his hand. Drake ends the turn. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Fonzie with Idris. Fonzie takes it, and in his second main phase, Cal delves away some of his graveyard to cast Treasure Cruise. Cascade and Remora trigger. Drake draws, then Cal reveals until he reveals a Windfall, deciding not to cast it. He then draws three through Treasure Cruise. He plays a Spire Garden as his land for turn. He casts Prosper, Tomebound. Cascade triggers, Cal reveals until he hits Search for Tomorrow, deciding not to cast it. Then Prosper resolves. Cal casts Rashmi, Eternity's Crafter. Cascade triggers, and Cal reveals until he hits Euro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, casting it. Prosper triggers and Cal creates a treasure. Then Euro enters, Cal gains 3 life, draws a card, and puts a watery grave into play tapped. Then Cal sacrifices Euro, and then Rashmi resolves. Cal passes, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles a Mole Drifter. The turn moves to Alex. During his upkeep, Alex removes a time counter from Runic Armasaur. During his draw step, he draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library, paying 8 life to keep them both. He plays a Cascade Bluffs for turn. He casts Curse of Opulence, targeting Cal. Remora triggers, and Drake draws. Counterbalance triggers, and Drake reveals a counterspell. Curse resolves, and Alex passes. Fonzie draws and casts Goblin Warchief. He casts a Torch Courier. He activates Pyre of Heroes, sacrificing Torch Courier. In response, Drake casts Snap, targeting Kiki Jiki. Tolerant triggers, and Drake creates a Drake. In response, Fonzie activates Kiki, creating a copy of Goblin Warchief. Then Snap resolves, Kiki bounces, and Drake untaps two lands. Then Pyre's ability resolves, and Fonzie fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. Dockside enters, and Fonzie creates 12 treasures. Next, Fonzie casts Goblin Matron. Knowing that this is game over, Drake flashes in a Dress Down. In response, Alex casts Beast Within, targeting Mystic Remora. Remora triggers, and Drake draws. In response, Drake cracks his Prismatic Vista, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Then Beast Within resolves, Remora is destroyed, and Drake creates a 3-3 Beast. Then Dress Down resolves, and Drake draws a card. Then Goblin Matron resolves. Unfortunately unable to do anything else with Dressdown on the battlefield, Fonzie passes. 
At the end of Fonzie's turn, Drystown is sacrificed. During his upkeep, Drake loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Cephalid Coliseum for turn. He casts Nexus of Fate. Tall Ren triggers and Drake creates a Drake. Nexus resolves, Drake gets an extra turn and he shuffles Nexus back into his library. He moves to combat and attacks Fonzie with 5 Drakes and Alex with Spellseeker, paying 2 for propaganda. Alex blocks with Fine Horn Elves. Then Fonzie takes the hit and in his second main phase, Drake casts a Thought Scour. Tall Ren triggers and he creates a Drake. Then Drake mills 2 and he draws a card. He casts Mystical Tutor. Tall Ren triggers and, in response, Alex taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Cal a Spirit to cast a Brainstorm. Counterbalance triggers and Drake reveals an island. Then Alex draws 3 and puts 2 back on top. Then Drake creates a Drake and Mystical Tutor resolves. He fetches up a Nexus of Fate onto the top of his library. Drake moves to his next turn. During his upkeep, Drake wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Fonzie with 4 Drakes and Cal with 4 Drakes. Curse of Opulence triggers and Drake creates a Gold. They both take it and Fonzie dies. In his second main phase, Drake activates Cephalic Coliseum, sacrificing it, drawing 3 and discarding 3. He plays a Misty Rainforest for turn. He casts Nexus of Fate. Tall Ren triggers and Drake creates a Drake. Then Nexus resolves, Drake gets another turn and shuffles Nexus back into his library. He cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He casts Rhystic Study. Drake moves to his extra turn. During his upkeep, Drake loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Consider. Tall Ren triggers and Drake creates a Drake. Then Consider resolves and Drake surveils, putting Scalding Tarn into his graveyard. He casts a Sapphire Medallion. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with 7 Drakes. Curse of Opulence triggers and Drake creates a Gold. Cal takes it and, all out of turns, Drake passes to Cal. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Yidris. Alex takes it, Dissipation Field triggers and Yidris bounces back to Cal's hand. In his second main phase, Cal casts Karuga the Macro Sage, paying the Rhystic Tax. Cascade and Rashmi trigger. Cal reveals a Dark Steel Ingot, casting it, paying the Rhystic Tax. Then Cascade resolves and Cal reveals until he hits Reclamation Sage, casting it. Counterbalance triggers and Drake reveals a Cavern of Souls. With Rex Sage still in the stack, Drake casts Mindbreak Trap for its alternate cost. Tall Ran triggers and Drake creates a Drake. Then Mindbreak Trap resolves, exiling Reclamation Sage and Karuga. With nothing else to do, Cal passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Alex removes the final time counter from Runic Armasaur, casting it. Rhystic triggers and Drake draws. During his draw step, Alex draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. In his main phase, he plays an island. He taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Cal a spirit to cast Lurking Predators. Rhystic triggers and Drake draws. Predators resolves and Alex passes the turn. During his upkeep, Drake loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alex with 7 Drakes, paying 14 for propaganda. Alex declares no blocks and dies. In his second main phase, he casts a Mox Opal. Drake passes. Cal draws, sees he is dead to attacks, concedes, and Drake wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun game. Congrats to Drake on his win. He was able to time his interaction perfectly and use that interaction to create enough Drakes to close out the game. Playing Table Police is very difficult in a 4 player game, but Drake did so with ease tonight. We hope that you all enjoyed our first high powered gameplay video. What else would you like to see? A certain commander? A certain strategy? Something else? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.